Good morning everyone. Welcome back to GK today. And today we'll be discussing most important MCQs for 12th of April 2023. Let's start with our session. First question is the stand up India scheme has been extended till which year? So this scheme was launched in the year 2016 to promote the entrepreneurship that focuses on economic empowerment and job creation and now this scheme has been extended till the year 2025 so more than 40700 crore rupees was sanctioned under this stand up india scheme for over the 7 years of its implementation and around 80% of the loans under the scheme were provided to women fine So now stand up india scheme has been extended till 2025 now you would have heard about reach out scheme what is this full form is research education training and outreach scheme and this program has been launched by the indian government to promote research education and training in the country and it has been initiated by ministry of earth sciences fine now also recently the fourth phase of sagar parikrama was concluded right where in which state in the state of karnataka and uh, it is implemented by ministry of fisheries animal husbandry and dairying all the rest phases of sagar parikrama were launched in the year 2022 and this is an initiative to organize a sea voyage across all the coastal states and the union territories to support the fishermen fish farmers etc fine so recently the fourth phase of sagar parikrama was observed in the state of karnataka next is which institution released the stacking up the benefit lessons from india's digital journey report so this report was recently released by imf and uh, it credits India's building black approach and its focus on promoting innovation for the success of the country's digital public infrastructure fine so this is a report from international monetary fund headquarter lies in washington dc and now you have to tell me who is the current md of imf do let me know in the comment section now yesterday we have seen that international renewable energy agency has released a report named as world energy transitions outlook 2023 report headquarter lies in abu dhabi fine next is which asian country has been elected to the united nations statistical commission for a four year term actually united nation statistical commission is the highest decision making body for international statistic activities and japan is the current chair of the commission but now india has been recently elected to this body for a four year term starting from 1st of january 2024 okay so india has been elected to united nations statistical commission for a four year term also we know that india is the president of g20 for this year because we have taken the presidency of g20 from indonesia on 1st of december 2022 till 30th of november 2023 and also we are the president of shanghai cooperation organization and what is the theme for seo the theme is for a secure seo and we would be the president till september 2023 fine and what is the theme of g20 under india's presidency this is one family one future okay now you have to tell me which country has recently become the dialogue partner of sco do let me know in the comment section now next is gaia mission which was seen in the news recently is associated with which space agency so this mission is a project of european space agency and it seeks to understand the formation of the milky way and 
its present nature. So with this mission's data, the space agency has discovered a new family of black holes. And these two black holes are believed to be the closest to our planet Earth. Fine. So Gaia mission is associated with European Space Agency. Now, one most important question from Space Current Affairs is who has been nominated as the first woman to circle the moon? This is Christina Hammock. This name is very important. Okay. And already we have talked about the Nisar mission. Full form is NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar. And uh, aim is to build and launch Earth Observation Satellite which is equipped with a dual frequency synthetic aperture radar. Fine. So NISAR is the mission between US and India. Okay. Next is which country launched the overseas security assistance program. So this program belongs to Japan and recently it has been announced why to provide financial assistance to help the foreign nations so that they can strengthen their defense power. And as per the foreign ministry of Japan, since the help would be offered as grant, only poor nations will be able to receive it. Okay. So overseas security assistance program is the initiative of the country Japan. Talking about Japan, India Japan conducts a very important exercise named as Dharma Guardian. Right. Now next question is, Order of White Eagle is the highest distinction of which country? So this is Poland's highest distinction and recently it was received by the Ukrainian president Vladimir Zelensky. So this Order of White Eagle is the oldest and highest decoration of the Republic of Poland and Vladimir Zelensky received this award in recognition of his merits in deepening the relations between Poland and Ukraine for his activities for security and his steadfastness in defending the human rights. Fine. So two questions are important from this slide. Order of White Eagle is the highest distinction of Poland country and this year it has been conferred to Ukraine President Zelensky. Okay. Now let's see a few important awards and honors. Recently Wildlife Conservation Award 2023 has been presented to Alia Mir. Alia Mir belongs to Kashmir. Okay. Then the 2023 Abel Prize was presented to Luis Caffarelli and this prize is given in the field of mathematics. And talking about the Padma Awards for the year 2023, this year total 106 Padma Awards have been conferred in which the segregation is like 6 Padma Bhushan, 9 Padma Bhushan and 91 Padma Shri. Okay. Now next is Kudankulam nuclear power project is located in which Indian state? So this nuclear power project involves the setting up of India's largest nuclear power station in Tirunel Valley district of Tamil Nadu. And a pressurizer was delivered for the reactor 5 of this power plant by AEM Technologies Ishora, which is a part of the machine building division of Rosatom basically. Okay. So this Kudankulam nuclear power project belongs to the state of Tamil Nadu. So this Kudankulam nuclear power project is located in the state of Tamil Nadu. Now if we talk about few more nuclear power project that lies in India. First is Kakrapar. Kakrapar power project lies in Gujarat state. Second is Kalpakkam. Kalpakkam lies in Tamil Nadu. Next is Narora. Narora lies in Uttar Pradesh. Then after that there is Kaiga power plant and Kaiga lies in Karnataka state. And one last is Tarapur. Tarapur power plant lies in Maharashtra. Okay. Now next is TOPS scheme which was seen in the news recently is associated with which union ministry. First of all, what is the full form of TOPS? It is 
टारगेट ओलंपिक पोडियम स्कीम टारगेट ओलंपिक पोडियम स्कीम सो द पर्पज ऑफ द स्कीम इज टू आइडेंटिफाई ग्रूम एंड प्रिपेयर पोटेंशियल कैंडिडेट्स फॉर द ओलंपिक मेडल्स ओके एंड दिस इज द इनिशिएटिव ऑफ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ यूथ अफेयर्स एंड स्पोर्ट्स सो रिसेंटली दिस मिशन ओलंपिक सेल गेव नॉट फॉर फाइनेंशियल असिस्टेंस अंडर द स्कीम फॉर ट्वेल्व पैरा बैडमिंटन प्लेयर्स हु आर सेट टू पार्टिसिपेट इन द अपकमिंग ब्राजील पैरा बैडमिंटन इंटरनेशनल ओके सो टू थिंग्स आर अगेन इंपॉर्टेंट वॉट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ टॉप्स इट इज टारगेट ओलंपिक पोडियम स्कीम एंड दिस इज द इनिशिएटिव ऑफ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ यूथ अफेयर्स एंड स्पोर्ट्स नेक्स्ट इज पराम्बिकुलम टाइगर रिजर्व इज सिचुएटेड इन विच स्टेट और द यूनियन टेरिटरी सो दिस टाइगर रिजर्व इज सिचुएटेड इन द स्टेट ऑफ केरला इन द वेस्टर्न घाट एंड अ डिविजन बेंच ऑफ द केरला हाई कोर्ट हैज ऑर्डर्ड द वाइल्ड एलिफेंट लोकली कॉल्ड अरी कॉम्पन टू बी कैप्चर्ड रेडियो कॉलर्ड एंड ट्रांसलोकेटेड टू दिस प्रोटेक्टेड एरिया एंड द फॉरेस्ट डिपार्टमेंट हैज अप्रोच द असाम गवर्नमेंट टू प्रोक्योर अ सेटेलाइट रेडियो कॉलर to be attached to the elephant in idukki before it is translocated from idukki to this parambikulam fine so this tiger reserve lies in the state of kerala and if you talk about few more important tiger reserves there is this bandipur tiger reserve it lies in karnataka state second is kanha tiger reserve it belongs to madhya pradesh next is manas Manas Tiger Reserve belongs to Assam. After that, there is Simlipal. Simlipal Tiger Reserve lies in Odisha. Next is Periyar Tiger Reserve. It belongs to Kerala. After that, there is Sariska. Sariska Tiger Reserve belongs to Rajasthan. Sariska Tiger Reserve lies in Rajasthan. And last is Namdafa. Namdafa Tiger Reserve belongs to Arunachal Pradesh. Now you have to tell me Kanha Tiger Reserve lies in which particular state? Do let me know in the comment section. Next is who is the head of the committee set up by the Urban Affairs Ministry to examine the stalled real estate project? So Union Housing and Urban Affairs Ministry has set up a committee headed by Amitabh Kant to examine the stalled real estate project, and it seeks to examine the issues. that are related to the legacy stalled real estate project in the country and also to recommend ways to complete them fine so the head of the committee is mr amitabh kant now recently who has been chosen as the 14th president of fikki ladies organization this is sudha shiv kumar okay also recently mr sanjay Jasjeet Singh has been appointed as the new vice chief of navy fine right? and star sport brand has recently nominated actor ranveer singh as its brand ambassador okay next is b52h strategic bomber was recently used in the bilateral air drills between which countries So this bomber is a long range supersonic jet powered strategic heavy bomber which is capable of carrying the nuclear arsenals and it was recently used during the bilateral air drills between South Korea and the US and also in the recent times North Korea has tested an underwater nuclear capable drone and also an intercontinental ballistic missile Fine. So this bomber was recently used in the bilateral air drills between South Korea and US. Now, last question is, which state or the Union territory recently received the GI tag for its famous wood carving? So, wood carving of Ladakh recently received the GI tag, and in the month of December last year, also the government has granted the GI tag for Raktase Karpo. apricot of ladakh right so basically the wood carvings of ladakh has been a vibrant art form in the ladakh region including the capital leh 
and Kargil. Fine. Now, a few days back, also we have seen that Basoholi paintings have got the GI tag, and they belong to the Kathua district of Jammu and Kashmir. Right. So these are the most important current affairs and the news from today. And now let's start with our revision session, in which we are doing the current affairs revision for the month of February, and this is part twelve in this series. So today we'll be doing the questions from one hundred sixty-six up to one hundred eighty. India's first ring metro corridor is expected to be operationalized in twenty twenty-four in which state or the union territory? So India's first ring metro corridor is expected to be operationalized in twenty. 24 in new delhi and this ring metro corridor is expected to ease the travel for passengers from faridabad noida ghaziabad etc so total length of this corridor is 71.15 kilometers and it will have a total and it will have a total of 8 stations the m passport police application was introduced recently by which union ministry so this application was recently introduced by the union external affairs ministry and aim of the application is to simplify and hasten the process of police verification of passport issuance so basically it will reduce the verification time by 5 days from the previous verification time of 15 days to complete the process which a state government has announced 24 by 7 cyber security operation center answer would be karnataka so karnataka is planning to establish a 24 by 7 cyber security operation center to safeguard the government websites and the online services so this center will help the government to keep pace with emerging technologies and the cyber threats and minimize the cost of upgrading and maintaining these technologies which country has recently terminated the immigrant investor program answer would be ireland so the government of ireland has recently terminated the immigrant investor program and under this initiative citizens of the non european union countries were permitted to acquire residency in ireland if they make an investment of at least 1 million euros in the country so it was terminated because these type of initiatives are seen as a security risk what percent of india's capital procurement budget has been earmarked for domestic industry so our union defense minister rajnath singh has announced that 75% of the defense capital procurement budget has been earmarked for domestic industry this year Next is Harbinger 2023 is the global hackathon organized by which institution answer would be Reserve Bank of India and what was the theme for this year's Harbinger this is inclusive digital services Lakshmi Bhandar is a scheme implemented by which state or the union territory so this is the scheme of West Bengal government and the state budget for 2023 to 24 has actually widened the ambit of social welfare schemes like lakshmi bhandar and they have added a new scheme providing death benefits for fishermen as well india agreed to collaborate on digital infrastructure climate action and sustainable development with which country so india has agreed to collaborate with the country spain on digital infrastructure climate action and sustainable development which institution is set to provide maintenance and overhaul support for mq9b drone engines in india answer is hindustan aeronautics limited so they have announced that it would provide maintenance and overhaul support of these drone engines in india basically akshdeep singh and priyanka goswami who were seen in the news recently play which sport so they are associated with race walking and uh, why they were in news because recently they have won the national race walking championship the venue of which was ranchi jharkhand next is which city is the host of the india international seafood show answer would be kolkata and what is the aim behind it 
टू डबल द सी फूड एक्सपोर्ट बाय ट्वेंटी एक्सरसाइज धर्मा गार्डियन इज अ ज्वाइंट मिलिट्री एक्सरसाइज हेल्प बिटवीन इंडिया एंड विच अदर कंट्री जस्ट वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट इट दिस इज एक्सरसाइज बिटवीन इंडिया एंड जपान एंड दिस ईयर द वेन्यू वॉज ऑल्सो जपान इंडियन रेलवे इज लॉन्च रेल पोस्ट गति शक्ति एक्सप्रेस कार्गो सर्विस अलॉन्ग विथ विच इंस्टीट्यूशन दिस इज इंडिया पोस्ट सो इंडियन रेलवे हैज लॉन्च द रेल पोस्ट गति शक्ति एक्सप्रेस कार्गो सर्विस टू प्रोवाइड द लॉजिस्टिक फॉर सर्विसेज सेक्टर इन द कंट्री साइमिलटेनियसली ऑन फोर सेक्टर्स ओके विच सिटी इज द होस्ट ऑफ ग्लोबल टूरिज्म इन्वेस्टर समिट आंसर इज न्यू डेली सो टूरिज्म मिनिस्ट्री विल ऑर्गेनाइज द फर्स्ट ग्लोबल टूरिज्म इन्वेस्टर समिट फ्रॉम दिस ईयर इन न्यू डेली टू शो केस द अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन द टूरिज्म एंड हॉस्पिटैलिटी सेक्टर एंड नाउ द लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज डेविड मेलपास इज द हेड ऑफ विच इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो ही इज द हेड ऑफ वर्ल्ड बैंक एंड द हेडक्वार्टर्स ऑफ वर्ल्ड बैंक लाइज इन वॉशिंगटन डी सी फाइन सो दीज आर द नेक्स्ट फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द मंथ ऑफ फेब्रुवरी एंड टुमारो वी विल टेक इट अहेड फ्रॉम वन हंड्रेड एटी वन अप टू वन हंड्रेड नाइन्टी फाइव नाउ लेट स्टार्ट विथ टूडेज क्विज हियर ऑन द स्लाइड यू कैन सी फाइव क्वेश्चन विच हैव बीन टेकन फ्रॉम द पास टू थ्री डेज करंट अफेयर्स पॉज द वीडियो एंड ट्राई टू सॉल्व इच ऑफ दीज क्वेश्चन एंड एट द एंड ऑफ द लेक्चर डो नॉट फॉर गेट टू शेयर योर स्कोर्स इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन सो प्लीज बी ऑनेस्ट एंड डो नॉट चीट विथ योर सेल्फ सो दैट्स इट फॉर टूडे आई होप यू हैव लाइक द सेशन दीज वर द इम्पॉर्टेंट न्यूज एंड इवेंट्स फ्रॉम टूडे and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this minus hatsana signing off